So the way the Triple Crown is set up is you have to qualify for the Kentucky Derby. It's a point system and they do that because everybody wants a piece of that pie, but they can only take 20 horses. Now California Chrome qualified in the point system and he also ran in the Preakness. The way the Belmont Stakes is set up, you don't have to have any points set up to get there unless the race is oversubscribed, meaning more, more horses want to enter than what they can take. So California Chrome had ran five times prior to the Belmont Stakes. The thing is, Chrome wanted to run against the horses who had been running, who had been dancing all the dances like he had done, because he hadn't skipped a beat, he hadn't dodged anybody, he was there to fight every fight and go every round. He was prepared to go the distance. So when he lost the Belmont, the horses who finished ahead of him, they had not run in the Kentucky Derby or the Preakness. And there was disappointment there because once again, like much like California Chrome, Coburn and Martin and the DAP team, they knew he was the best. They know that California Chrome is special. You know, he's like a Michael Jordan. It's like he's like an Emmett Smith. He's a he's a guy that doesn't come along every day. And they know that. And when he lost the Triple Crown, they were disappointed because they wanted everybody else to know that too. And the whole thing is they want him to be recognized for what he is, a truly great athlete. Most of the time when horses win a Triple Crown race, they run off to stud because that's where the big money is, is in the breeding industry. Well, California Chrome won two of the Triple Crown races and he's going to be back for a four-year-old campaign. My name is Danny Brewer. I'm a horse racing journalist. You can catch me on thegreatest2minutes.com and I love the sport of thoroughbred horse racing.